many parents and uh, students also come to me asking should i prefer a government college over a private college or is a private college better than the government college so in this video i'll try to do a comparative study and at the same time i'll give you a conclusion on what should be your next step of action now to start with you have to know that biotech degree has got three layers the first one is the infrastructure now if the infrastructure is not good if the labs are not good then even though the theory part they can teach you using chalk and talk method the lab matters more than the theory so we have to make sure that infrastructure the laboratory infrastructure is good the second thing which matters the most is the degree of the professors now the professors are from which particular background you can go and check their linkedin profile many a times the admission brochure will exaggerate about the professor so instead of relying on that just take the name of that professor go to linkedin and check out what all things they have done so that you are clear with uh, or you can compare the uh, faculty uh, qualification because if the faculty is themselves not equipped to train you on the infrastructure then it is of no use so infrastructure matters the second is the professor matters the qualification of professor matters and the third is obviously the economic factor the fees factor and that i always say do not break your bank and that is where the comparison begins because government colleges have a lesser fees than the private colleges so which one which one is better that we have to understand now first metric is the costliest college is not the best college let's remove that from our mind for a minute now let's come back to the next aspect and that is if i have to say that uh, government college is better or the private college is better than again these three um, parameters matter so obviously the government colleges are cheaper so that parameter is al already taken care of but then there is an additional parameter and that is competition normally government colleges will have a competitive exam and when you have written the competitive exam you have to qualify and that's how you can get in so that's a problem there but i have seen that private colleges sometimes are even better than the government colleges because they win over the other two the faculty sometimes we, we have seen that they are able to bring in faculty from abroad in their college and that gives them gives them a upper hand the second thing is the laboratories now government colleges sometimes i have seen even though they are renowned colleges they lack the infrastructure and if, if the machine has broken down they have not replaced it or it is just there and nobody knows how to use it and these things happen given that government has tremendous uh, funds so they can always fund such labs but the lack of maintenance leads to a situation where the labs are unusable so you should not always look at the lab infrastructure you should also look at it. has the lab been maintained properly or not so if you are sending your child into a government college or a private college go visit the lab check how nicely it is maintained are the required machines there which uh, is required for the curriculum if you don't know which machines are required you can just copy the curriculum go in chat gpt and ask what all things are required for, for doing the practicals for this it will give you the list and probably more or less if 80% of that is there then of course that college is good but now coming to the comparison whether the government college is good or private college is good the only metric which will you know differentiate will be the lab infrastructure and the faculty qualification now another laid back attitude which i have seen sometimes in government colleges is because they are not uh, answerable to the student and their parents sometimes the professors do not take their uh, classes seriously and that leads to a Uh, problem so remember as a parent or as a student you have to know that when you are going for a degree in government or private college it is not a product it's a service so it can deteriorate so you have to know that uh, what has been their track record where the alumni are placed what is the placement all of that you should check now last but not the least is if you are getting a private college and if the lab infrastructure is good if the faculty is good and if the fees is under budget take it but don't bre break your bank also you can look out for some scholarships if that college is uh, you know providing and maybe if your child has got high score you can always try for that but whatever happens remember that do not pester your child to pre prepare for entrance to get into a government college instead whatever you are getting take it but on the top of it anyways your child will have to do skill development courses because the curriculum is outdated the industry is somewhere else and the go government or private colleges are teaching something else so you have to keep that in mind and then accordingly get your child into a college okay and if your child is going to go out of city keep in mind the hostel food you have to take a feedback about that because because recently i had a feedback a parent came to me and said that my child had to leave her degree in midway because the college was providing food which is too spicy and she could not 
digested. So, you know, these kind of uh, problems can also happen. So keep all of this in mind. And now if you have any more questions, please put them down in the comment section and I'll try to help you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.